Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will learn the 5 most basic and important functions in Microsoft Excel. Also, this practice sheet is available to download in the description below. So, let's get started. Starting with the first basic and most important formula is the sum function. Now, to demonstrate the sum function, we have an example of monthly sales data here. As you can see, these are the months column and these are the sales column. And we want to find the total sales, right? So, the first way is to simply click here where you want the total sales to be calculated. And then here you can see we have this FX, which means insert function button. So, if we click on it, here is the insert a function button dialog and here you can see we have a function named as sum if we click on ok it asks for numbers to be summed so we can simply select this number and then for the second number we can select the second number for the third number we can select the third number for the fourth number we can select the fourth number but it is too tiresome so we're not going to do this one i'll just let me just cancel it or close it now what we need to do here is here inside this cell, I'll write equals and then the formula that is SUM sum and then parenthesis and then I will select all these numbers. Now we have only 12 uh, rows here, but what if we had thousands of rows? It will be difficult to, you know, drag down these rows, something like this all the way to 1000. So another thing that we can do here is we can understand that these values start from uh, this B. 2 all the way to this b13 so here in the sum i can write b2 and then a colon which means all the way to b13 which selects all these values now if i close the parenthesis and hit enter we have the total sales calculated easily using the sum function now the next important function is the average function here we have some students with different marks in maths english and science and we want to find the average grade for alice average grade for bob and the average grade for charlie now the first step is very simple we'll use the average formula so here in this cell we can simply just click here in this insert function and then we can look for the average function which is right here and then click on ok then it will ask for the numbers so the number one the number one is this one and then a number two is this one and number three is this one if we click on ok it returns the average sum but uh, that is a bit time taking so i'll just delete it and we'll do it in a couple of seconds so here i'm just going to write equals and then average and then parenthesis and then we will select all these numbers similarly and then we are going to close the parenthesis and hit enter and we have the average grade of Alice. Now we can do the same for Bob writing equals average. But again, this is a repetitive work. We don't want to do it. So simply we'll just put our cursor here. And here, as you can see, the cursor changes its color. You just drag it down and it is going to calculate the average for the remaining two students. Very simple next we have the median formula so here we have an example data set of employees of a company and their salaries in column b now we want to find the median salary of this company right so here in the cell we can just simply click here where we want to find the median and then we can just click here on this fx which means insert function but that will be too tiresome so to just simply use our keyboard, I'll write equals median and then open parenthesis. Then we will select all these numbers. Now, this is a bit tedious task again to select all of these numbers. Now, these numbers are just 34, but what if we had more than 100,000 numbers? It will be difficult to select them like this. So, instead of selecting them like this, we can simply see that the salary starts at B2 and ends at b34 so here in our formula i can simply write it starts at b2 colon and ends at b34 
and now close the parenthesis and hit enter and we have the median salary here next we have the min and max functions in excel now as the name says the min function is used to calculate the minimum value and the max function is used to calculate the maximum value from a given data set here we have an example of these products and their prices and we want to find the minimum price among these all so we can simply write here equals min parenthesis and then we select all of these and then we close the parenthesis and hit enter and the minimum value is $200. Similarly for the maximum price we can write equals max parenthesis and then select the prices column and then close the parenthesis and hit enter and the maximum price among these products is $1200. Now this may not seem useful because this is a fairly small data set but if we have a very large data set that has thousands and thousands of rows then these formulas are very very useful. Last is the most important Excel function and it is the if function. So here we have some sample data set of salesperson, their sales and their target and based on their sales we want to check if they are eligible for bonus or not. Now here we can simply use the if function. We can just click here in the insert function or to be more quick we can simply use our keyboard. So here I'm going to double click and I'll write equals and then if and then parenthesis and as you can see it has three values it has the logical test and then it has the value if true and then the value if false so for the logical test we would like to check if the sales so right here if this sales is greater than or equal to this target all right and if it is then comma we are going to write that this salesperson is eligible for the bonus and if it is not if this logical test is not true then comma we will say not eligible and then let me just close the parenthesis and hit enter and as you can see this Alice salesperson is eligible because she has completed her sales target now we can write again for the others but again it is a repetitive work we would like to avoid that so here we are going to drag this here as you can see the color changes of the cursor and we will drag this all the way down and it will automatically replicate the formulas for other person so Alice is eligible, Bob is not, Charlie is eligible, David is not and Eva is eligible. So that's it. That will be enough for this video. Now you can find the link in the description to download this excel sheet so that you can practice it yourself. Now make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next excel video.